What's up, everybody? Paul Hickey here. Welcome to the WordPress show. Today, we're going to be talking about how to build a B2B e-commerce store using WordPress and WooCommerce. Now, I've been building e-commerce websites using WordPress for about the last six or seven years. And one thing that a lot of clients have always asked me about is how to build a store that has a few specific pieces of functionality. Number one, number one, maybe they want other businesses to have to register for their store. Number two, maybe they wanna have different levels of businesses have different pricing. Number three, maybe they wanna show the products, but you have to be logged in as a user of the site to see the prices. So all of these would indicate functionality that would be unique towards say a B2B or business to business e-commerce store. And uh, I have found a plugin that would allow any WordPress website to do this with WooCommerce. Now WooCommerce is, for those of you who don't know, a free e-commerce plugin for any WordPress site. You can add it to any WordPress site. And it essentially gives you some basic things to set up an e-commerce store. It's kind of like if you were to add Shopify functionality to your WordPress website, that's what WooCommerce is. It gives you the ability to have products, a checkout page, a shopping cart page, different coupon codes, different types of products, and different payment gateways. Now, the plugin that I have recently found is called B2B for WooCommerce, and it's $149. But if you're a business that's looking to sell directly to other businesses, this could be the perfect solution for you. Like I was mentioning, it extends the registration to accept B2B registrations from other businesses. You can add different user roles to get extra fields to the default registration form. You can manually review and approve the new B2B user registration. So that would be a way of allowing somebody uh, that works for another business who might want to order from you to apply to get access to your store. And then you can give them access to your store if you feel like they're going to be a good customer for you and then they can order from you. Um, you can definitely hide products and categories based on the different user roles. So that would give maybe a customer who is at a particular level, different access to different pricing than a customer who's added another level. You can add a mini quote dropdown to customize the quote form fields. Uh, this is what the user registration looks like. You can do different other cool things like how did you hear about us? You can use different PO numbers or VAT numbers. VAT number is something that um, European businesses have. That would be the equivalent of a EIN number in the United States, you can do an EIN number. Here's what the B2B settings look like in the back end of WordPress. You can have the ability to control your product visibility, request a quote, registration fields, different prices for different user roles. As you can see right here, you can set a fixed price, percentage increase, percentage decrease, fixed increase, fixed decrease based on all the roles. This is kind of what a mock-up of it looks like for a particular customer who's not logged in over here, and then a customer who is logged in over here. And then you've got the different types of customers. Maybe the price is replaced with a different price for a different, you might have a wholesale customer that you would allow to have a bulk product discount or uh, just a regular customer who might not be able to have a bulk product discount. This is what it looks like in the back end. Adding different rules looks very, very straightforward. Here's what the request a quote and hide price looks like. So you can have different product grids showing with an immediate add to cart or an add to a quote, which is new functionality that I have never seen before. So thank you to B2B WooCommerce for this particular type of plugin. Here's the tax exemption option, what it looks like in the checkout screen, and then the approval in the back end of the dashboard. WordPress WooCommerce now has this B2B plugin by a company called Adify. Uh, I'm looking forward to using this very, very soon. It looks phenomenal. Hopefully for those business owners out there that are looking to add this functionality to your website, this has been helpful. 
Thanks again for watching the WordPress show. For more, you can check me out at datadriven.design or email me directly at paul at datadriven.design. Thanks again for watching the WordPress show. Have a great day.